जय हिंद फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू रॉयल्स एजुकेशन डू यू रिमेंबर इंडो चाइना वॉर ऑफ 1962 व्हेन चाइना बैक स्टैब्ड इंडिया अटैक्ड सरप्राइजिंगली एंड असर्व अक्साई चीन एंड दिस हैपेंड व्हेन इंडिया वाज एडवोकेटिंग फॉर चाइना परमानेंट मेंबरशिप इन यूएन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल एंड इंडिया फॉलोड द आइडियोलॉजी ऑफ पंसील एंड हिंदी चीनी भाई भाई इज द सेम चाइना व्हिच पुट अ नंबर ऑफ टेक्निकल होल्ड्स ऑफ यूएन लिस्टिंग ऑफ मसूद अजहर एज इंटरनेशनल टेररिस्ट is the same china which counters india's move for the claim of permanent seat in un security council and it is the all weather friend of india's arch enemy pakistan and if these all memory has faded do remember china's muscle flexing on line of actual control that's lac and recent scuffle between indian and chinese troops in dokla so when it comes to cpc that's china pakistan economic corridor which passes through or pok that is pak occupied kashmir how we indian can forget that cpc is a big concern better say big danger to india this video cpc a big danger to india is created by megha singh rathor and you will find every detail about cpc in this so let's start india calls cpc illegal China Pakistan Economic Corridor that's CPC stands for passes through parts of the UT of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh which are under illegal occupation of Pakistan it violates sovereignty and territorial integrity of India thus India calls CPC illegal you can see that it start from Xinjiang in China and it passes through POK here you can see this red line it passes through POK that is Pak occupied Kashmir and it goes up to the Gwadar port so india has got the problem with cpc in this pok region then cpc let's know about cpc what is it it is the flagship project of multi billion dollar belt and road initiative to enhance china's influence around the world through funding infrastructure projects it is 3000 km long corridor consisting of highways railways and pipelines then it aims at linking the city of gwadar in southwestern pakistan to china's northwestern region xinjiang through a vast network of highways and railways so from where the money will come and from where means how pak government is going to finance this so china has almost put more than 50 billion dollars in this and as far as this pak government is concerned chinese banks will give heavily subsidized loans to pak governments to finance this project that means pakistan again is going to come under a big and very heavy loans then what is india's stand on cpc India doesn't support CPT as a protest it boycotted the high profile belt and road form organized by China India objects to CPC passing through Pakistan occupied Kashmir POK remains an emotional and sensitive issue it violates sovereignty and territorial integrity of India thus India calls CPC illegal means it's very clear from the indian side that as CPC passes through POK that is Pakistan occupied Kashmir which we have emotional and sensitive uh, connectivity which the Pakistan has taken in 1947 so till the time if China gives ownership of this POK part of this uh, CPC to India that's fine so till the time it's with uh, the settlement is between China and Pakistan India will always object to it then cpc a big concern to india yes of course because when cpc will complete it will give china a foothold in western indian ocean and with the gwadar port which the pakistan is uh, has already given to china and china is completely making it for the trade and it will even put its military might over there so this gwadar port is located near the strategic strait of hormuz you can see that this strategic uh, this strait of hormuz is 
connects the Gulf of Oman to Persian Gulf. You can say that Arabian Sea or Indian Western Indian Ocean to the Persian Gulf. You will find that 60% of the Indian crude oil, which it uh, asks from its imports from the this Arabian countries, comes through this Strait of Hormuz. And the Chinese warship and submarines have already surfaced before. So when the CPEC will be completed, China will have a very good foothold in the Western Indian Ocean. Then CPEC will allow China to control maritime trade in the part of the world from where India sources more than 60% of its oil supplies from the Middle East. That already I have said. CPEC will provide China strategic access to the Arabian Sea and enhance its presence in the region, of course. It would enable China to build much more powerful influence in the Indian Ocean. Here, the things come to some uh, thing which is not here, means about the Strait of Malacca, where the China always muscle flexes and almost 90% of the world trade passes through the Strait of Malacca. So, there is something called Strait of Malacca dilemma. So, if this state of Hormuz and this portion of this Arabian Sea comes in control of China that means its presence in this region will be felt very much powerful then the issue comes with the Kashmir CPEC means after CPEC will be completed China will have powerful control in entire POK why it is so because for the security of this CPEC Chinese has planned to put more than 30,000 security personnel for securing this CPEC for the security purpose. That means this security person will be there in the POK also. So indirectly, China will be made stakeholder in Kashmir conflict, which is a bilateral conflict between miss uh, which is a bilateral issue between india and pakistan then string of pearls it's very important in disguise of maritime silk route which china says that th there used to be some uh, old silk route and now it's making new silk route so china works on string of pearls theory against india what is it string of pearls it invests huge money in india's neighborhood Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and Pakistan and many more countries like this. China has even set up military bases in this country. So what it does actually that it gives finances to the Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and Pakistan and many more countries. Even uh, it has tried to influence the Nepal also and slowly it started putting its bases over there. Initially it will be the trade places. Thereafter it will slowly shift the military bases over there. And thereafter, it is the policy of surrounding India by economy and military might in Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. Then, these country means China will play proxy here. Means these Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Pakistan and many more countries if it comes and are being influenced by the China will play China's card against India in this region. Uh, you can un understand it well by this slide you can say that this stars marked with violet color is actually uh, you may find it here near to the vietnam thereafter it comes here into the andaman sea and it is there into the bangladesh and here in afghanistan uh, you will find it it has tried to do this in this nepal also so, it becomes very much necessary for India to always be good with its neighbor so that China's policies of the string of pearls doesn't work in its neighborhood. Otherwise, this you may see this violet line and this complete stars, violet stars is going to surround India like a string of pearls. So, this is the China's policy of uh, economic and means to constrain India economically and militarily. Though India is uh, doing very good because it has very good friendship with Afghanistan and the Tajikistan here, it has put even the military bases in Afghanistan and Tajikistan. So it is 
trying its utmost to counter this string of pearls policy of china then through one belt one road china is promoting its greater presence in north east india especially the arunachal pradesh part of which china claims as its own territory which may have a security impact on india china has begun i have already told you is china has begun to deploy 30000 security personnel that is military deployment to protect the cpc route and these 30000 military personnel will also be there means a portion of it will also be there in the pok which is a part of india and which pakistan has illegally occupied so at the end at the one hand china says that india must join the cpc as to better the trade ties and bilateral relationship between the china and india but this deployment of 30000 military troops even in the uh, even in the portion of pok and the cpc passing through this pok is a case of double standard played by china so what is the conclusion in this case so despite of cpc having a few benefits in favor of india let's see what are the benefits it may ease india's connectivity to central and west asia and gulf region of course if india joins if it forego this pok part so if india joins it central and west asian connectivity for the indian trade and especially for the gulf region for the uh, russian trade and for the you may say the eastern european portion means india's trade will be very much better it may benefit india afghanistan and iran also in trades but despite of these many benefits india must keep it security first and should never acknowledge cpc because we already have test of backstabbing back in 1962 by this our brother china at the name of hindi chini bye bye so in this video you could see everything about the cpc nothing has been left i hope that you have liked this video please like and share it if you have not subscribed to royal education do subscribe it and please hit the bell icon so that you can get every video when i upload thanks have a nice day